Hello everyone, welcome from Pi International Education and in this video we will be looking at again a couple of tips and tricks that you can use in your reading exam. In the previous video I mentioned that there was a secret recipe that you can use in order to effectively find your answers without having to read everything in a reading passage. So in this video we are focusing on exactly the steps that you can undertake in order to find your answers without reading everything. So as soon as you get the question paper, you will notice whenever you go around a couple of practices, there are always paragraph related questions, meaning there will be a couple of statements that in order to find your correct answer, you have to match the statements with a couple of paragraphs. So you might have realized that nine out of 10 asked reading question papers usually contain match the heading or paragraph based questions. So paragraph based questions are where you will be provided with a statement and your job will be to match the statement with a potential paragraph or you will have a heading and your job will be to match the heading to a suitable paragraph. Now these questions theoretically need more time. If you think about keyword based questions, they are a bit different. Now when we think about them, they seem like they should require less time because you just locate important words. If you find those keywords, you will find your answer within one or two sentences but they actually take more time because if you don't know which paragraph might contain these words then every time you will have to go through the entire paragraph looking for your keywords that's going to be more time consuming so what you want to do is solve the paragraph based questions first match the heading questions first why three reasons when you solve these questions you will accomplish not one not two but three milestones or three targets and that will make your life a whole lot easier. So when you get questions related to paragraphs and you are asked to match sentences or statements with potential paragraphs, by doing that first, you achieve three things. Number one, get answers. I mean, you're not just skimming the passage. You're not just going through the passage looking for specific words. You are getting your answers. So the two minutes, three minutes, five minutes that you are spending for these questions are not going in vain because meanwhile you are getting your answers so you are getting your scores so that's the first thing that you're achieving number two structure so by now because you have solved all of your questions paragraph based questions you now know what each of those paragraphs are talking about what each of those exact paragraphs have inside of them so because you know what the paragraphs are talking about Whenever you go to your keyword based questions, it will be a bit easier. Now, because you have solved the paragraph based questions, you now have a structure of the entire passage and you know which paragraph is talking about what. And finally, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier for keyword questions because stemming off of the two point, we now, because we have an idea about the entire passage, what each of the paragraphs talk about, we can directly go to the keyword questions and by just looking at the question, we will know this particular topic is addressed in the third paragraph, in the fourth paragraph or in the sixth paragraph. So we can directly go to the passage and go to that specific paragraph and start looking for our keywords. So we are not having to go through the entire passage looking for specific words. So number one, we are getting our answers and then we are not wasting our time reading or going through any of the other lines because we know for a fact that which paragraph contains our keywords. Additionally, when you are trying to solve the paragraph based questions, don't read the entire paragraph. Just read the first one, two or three sentences. That's it. Read the first or second sentence because that should give you an idea about what the entire paragraph is talking about. If you have watched our e-learning courses, you will know that the writing in IELTS has a specific format. Your first sentence needs to give you an idea of what the entire paragraph talks about, what we call as topic sentence. So when you're trying to answer these questions, do not read the entire paragraph, but read the first one or two lines. That should give you an idea of what the correct answer is for the match the heading questions. And then because you know what the paragraphs are talking about, you can now focus on the keyword sentences and you can find your words in the specific paragraphs. And this should make it easier for you to find your answers without having to read everything. Of course, you can find detailed explanation and demonstration of exactly how you can use this strategy to find your correct answers from our e-learning videos 
from mypipd.com. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.